It's totally lit. I do not want anything spawning. Okay. I think we're ready to mine the obsidian once I get this coal. I really want to get this coal. Any coal I can find is good. I'm seriously running out of hunger though, which worries me. So it's going to be a race against hunger, I think. But at the same time, I really want this coal. So I don't know if this is going to be a bad idea or not in the long run. We also have some creep horses on us as well if we get really hungry. So if we ever do need that, we could eat them. In fact, how much do they heal? Okay, they just poison you a bit. They are actually not a bad food source. The poison doesn't last for too long. Wasn't too bad. Okay. Okay, it seems to take the same amount of time, which is good. I'm gonna keep holding shift. Okay, I'm gonna definitely have some blocks on me, but there we go. First piece of obsidian. So I think that I'm gonna just mine out this entire thing of obsidian. Then we'll start to make our way back up. Make our way back up top. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, it's time we head back up now. I got 71 pieces of obsidian. It's pretty nice. Cleared out the entire uh, lake. It's pretty nice. I run out of dirt, but I've still got some uh, cold stone on me, which is pretty good. Um, I think what I'm going to do is create a staircase back up. That's probably the safest way to get back up. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully we don't run into any caves. Uh, that is pretty much uh, my goal. And I'm also running out of torches as well. Um, so I don't want to do that. Um, I don't want to run out of torches. Um, that is not a good start. definitely don't want to run into another one of those mine shafts. They were pretty horrible. Um, so I think we can safely say that was successful. That was highly successful. Um, yeah, I am pretty confident that um, that is going to that mining trip on its own is going to help us for the rest of the game. Um, because, I mean, we mine so much stuff was ridiculous but we are starting to run out of hunger now uh, so it definitely is a race against both hunger and uh, as well as um, as well as torches um, so we need to make a move uh, it's really gonna move on um, but luckily we have a diamond pickaxe now so we can carve right through this really tough rock as well as the more soft rock up here still pretty hard though I mean rock in general it's pretty tough, pretty tough stuff. So, um, what I've decided is this is going to be a little bit more of a bonus episode rather than episode 13. We'll come back to episode 13 with Max. So maybe, uh, what I've been thinking about this is um, we'll have maybe a little bonus sort of series on the side where we go mining and uh, do some adventuring and stuff like that. Of course, Max might want to come along in some of those. Um, but that will actually be, any, any anything with Max in it will be in the main episode. Well, I don't think on my own, while I do stuff between episodes, um, it's either going to be in these bonus episodes or on the stream. Or maybe in both, you know. I might uh, be able to record as well as stream. Um, so that might be a good idea. I'm not even going to waste my time with that. Okay, I'm peckish now. So I definitely need to make a move on. Three and a third left. Oh my god. I haven't even, I'm not even at the, like, soft rock. Okay, I'm at the soft rock now. Means we're getting close. Means we're getting close to the surface, guys. Let's get our compass out. Oh, we really need to be heading the other way. I'm hungry. I'm actually hungry at this stage. It might be that we need to do something very clever, because otherwise we're going to be stuck, actually, because I won't be able to jump. I've just realized that. I won't be able to jump after a certain stage. seems like we might be getting a little bit closer now. We must be getting close. Oh, here we go. Some dirt, just in time. Oh, 
Okay. There we are. And it's day. Perfect. Oh, look where we landed as well. Wow. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. So we're just here, just in time for us to just hopefully edge our way over this thing. And now I'm finally famished. And I can finally, very quickly, eat some pumpkin seeds and get myself back up again. Wow, that was that was amazing. We're back up. We're, we're actually alive. I cannot believe that. We're actually alive after all that. I thought I was going to die within about the first five minutes, but luckily, it was okay. It was okay. Um... I can't, uh, I can't do that. Let's just eat all these pumpkin seeds. That's quite very loud. Uh, eating. But there we are. We're back here. We're back at the base. After an uh, interesting mining trip. It's been very exciting. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, as I said, this is sort of more of a bonus episode. So if you've been watching the entire time thinking this is episode 13, um, then it hasn't been. You probably looked at the thumbnail anyway and it said bonus episode, so um, you know, I don't know why you'd think that. But um, I'm really happy that we've managed to do that mining trip. Definitely much more successful than the first time. We got 55 iron uh, gold ore, ton of uh, iron ore, loads of obsidian, loads of coal, loads of redstone. That was really, really good. Um, I'm really happy that we managed to, to do that, actually. Um, oh my god, that is brilliant. So last thing I think we want to do before they despawn is get these melon seeds and plant them because it would be a shame if we lost them just from them despawning uh, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to have the pumpkins on sort of this level here I'm just going to make this a little bit wider so that they can can grow onto here so I'll have the pumpkins there and I'll have the melons across here I think so I'll destroy these stalks, and I'll start a, a melon patch, and that'll be a really nice source of food, actually, the melons. Um, so that will be very nice indeed. Uh, so we've got pumpkins and melons now, which is really cool. Um, it means that we can get some more foods, basically, um, which is really nice. Let's have a look what melons do. Uh, melon. Uh, they can be used to make glistening melons. You can make uh, one melon into five melon pieces. There you can get more melon seeds from the melons. I guess it's just a food source, really. Um, but it's another, it's a different food source, which is nice to have. So it just adds to the food situation, which is nice. A bit of variety in my diet, in my best animals diet. Um, hemp, hemp farms are going pretty well. The uh, saplings, after all this time, have still not grown. Oh, that tree's grown. Oh my god, that tree's actually grown. That's perfect. Uh, this, oh, God, the mushroom farm's done pretty well, actually. I'll go and harvest the mushrooms uh, now, actually, to finish off. Um, might be split into two, actually. This episode has gone really, really long. I've been recording for about three hours. I don't know if all of it's going to go in, because obviously a lot of it has just been just mining. So I might just do the highlights or something of it. Um, but look at this. We're getting loads of stuff. That's really good. Um, let's chuckle this stuff away. We've got these stuff that we can smelt down at a later stage. This pickaxe, shovel. I'll take this shovel. Um, some iron ore. Stick in there. Some gold ore. Uh, some hemp fire. Oh no, that's, that's from there. Some obsidian, which is awesome. That's really good to have some obsidian. Some rails. And of course, six more diamonds. That is amazing. That is really good that we got six diamonds. And um, more coal as well, actually running out of space for coal. Put the leather down here. So that looks actually really good now. We've got tons of stuff. We've got really good amount of uh, materials there. We'll have to sort out this chest a little bit more. Uh, some cobblestone. I guess cobblestone now that we've got quite a lot of it can uh, move into the less useful chest. Although this is getting quite close as well. Maybe we want to make a whole new chest for um, for cobblestone. That might be a good idea. Um, we'll make this our useless chest. Uh, okay, so two more chests. 
and we'll put those. Oh, actually, where should we put those? We'll put. Uh, hmm. Where should we put that? I guess we can have one chest there, and you know, one over here or something for now. Actually, you know, that's not going to work. I've just realised that uh, might interfere with the uh, the crank, uh, the wind, the the mill a little bit because it doesn't like having stuff next to it. Um, I'll just put it on top of this chest for now. So that can be our that could be our general blocks chest. Actually, it might be a good idea to have blocks in there. Uh, well, this is more junk, just general junk. This can be blocks. That can all go there. Let's go look up here. Uh, some stone as well. That's pretty nice to have some stone. So there we are. That's pretty good. Uh, any food? Do we have any foods left? We have some fried eggs. Some beef. Um, we have a raw egg here. We need some fried eggs. How much do these restore? Well, these restore quite a lot. One and a half, it seems. Okay. Well, I can get this egg and I can get a few mushrooms and make a mushroom omelette. That will get me fully back up again. Our leather armour did us pretty well as well. I got this creeper head, actually. Um, does that give us any armour? No, but it looks makes us look pretty cool. Um, so, definitely a very awesome experience, that Better Than Walls mining. I was a little scared to actually go at first, because it just seemed pretty... Uh, just a little bit hardcore. Um, so I think the tactic is actually here to put it in the light section, and then the the mushrooms will grow into the dark section. That seems to be the tactic that I have developed which works. Okay, so it's going night time. Probably a good time to get inside and uh, and relax after an amazing an amazing day. That's been really good fun actually. I really had fun in the mines. Um, so I think Flower Child's done an excellent job of making the mines much more exciting. Uh, so I, I think that's really good. Um, this dime pickaxe I'll keep in there for now because I don't want to lose it. Uh, I'll keep my bucket and that on there. Just so did I put my bucket away? I don't know where I put my bucket. I think I might have just thrown it away at some point. I'll look back at the footage and see if I did. Our shears are getting a little bit destroyed but that definitely helped getting more creeper oysters. Um, so yeah, 64 and 7 obsidian. Uh, we should uh, have a little bit of flint somewhere and uh, we might be able to uh, make a nether portal next episode. We've got a lot of stuff going to happen next episode. Uh, we're going to have the windmill to put up. Still haven't done that yet. Uh, we're going to put it up there, I think. That would be a really nice place. And we're also going to have the um, the, nether put, the nether to travel through. Uh, so hopefully we've got a nice spawn there. It would be really quite a shame if we didn't. Um, so we're really hoping for that. So, yeah, I think it's been... Quite an amazing episode. Um, so I thank you all for watching very, very much. It's been really, really good fun. Um, and I hope I will see you next time in episode 13, the proper episode 13, with me and Max, um, where we will build a nether portal. We will... We'll just do loads of stuff, you know. We uh, we just do tons of stuff in Batman Balls. It's just so great. Um so yeah, I think that is what's going to happen. Uh, so I'm going to start smelting up some stuff now. Um, it looks like 11 in each is going to be the best thing to do. Okay. So yeah, thank you all for watching very, very much. I'll see you next time. And uh, hopefully uh, we can be just as successful as we were there. Goodbye, everybody.